This video is closed captioned. Peru is a land filled with terraced farming, more than 8,000 species of animals, awe-inspiring ruins, and 28 unique climates, each with its own diverse ecosystem. Hiking in the Andes, lying on the beach, or enjoying the food scene, there's something for everyone in this South American country. Peru has some extremely famous sites that shouldn't be missed, but there's much more to this beautiful country if you know where to look. And there are a few things you can do to ensure a more enjoyable experience. Similarly, there are things you should avoid as well. Join us as we walk you through some of the do's and don'ts of Peru. Let's get started with the things that you should absolutely do when visiting Peru. Check out Machu Picchu. As one of the seven wonders of the world at a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Machu Picchu is on many people's bucket lists. It's the biggest tourist attraction in Peru, and this archaeological site receives more than 1 million visitors annually. Spaniard explorers never discovered this Inca settlement, and it was rediscovered hundreds of years later. Explore beyond Machu Picchu. There are many natural and human-made wonders to see in Peru outside of Machu Picchu. Northern Peru is home to the Gatka Waterfall, one of the tallest waterfalls in the world at over 770 meters high. The Amazon rainforest holds many secrets for those willing to explore, meeting indigenous tribes or discovering one of the thousands of species of birds. And if you want an aerial view of the landscape, check out the Nazca Lines, one of the great remaining mysteries of the world. Learn a few Spanish words or phrases. English is not widely spoken in Peru, and it's estimated that less than 10% of the population is proficient. You're most likely to encounter English speakers in the main tourist areas of Lima and Cusco. Locals in most countries appreciate it when travelers try to use keywords or phrases to initiate conversation and make communication easier. Consider learning a few phrases, greetings, or questions that you can refer to during your travels. Apps like Google Translate can also help conduct conversations and translate menus or information signs through photos. Prepare for altitude and allow time to acclimatize. Many cities or locations you might visit while in Peru are considered high altitude. Cusco is over 11,000 feet above sea level and could quickly induce altitude sickness if you aren't prepared. Symptoms of altitude sickness may include headache, nausea, fatigue, vomiting, and even disrupted sleep. Time is the best and time-tested way to deal with acclimatization. Allow time at lower elevations before moving up to cities like Cusco to lower your chances of impacting your trip. And if you feel the symptoms of altitude sickness, head back down. It's the quickest and most reliable way to decrease symptoms. Check for advised vaccinations ahead of travel. A best practice for travel is always to consult the CDC to understand if there are vaccination requirements. And we aren't just talking about COVID-19 vaccinations. The CDC and WHO recommend the following vaccines when traveling to Peru. Hepatitis A and B, yellow fever, rabies, typhoid, MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, polio, meningitis, TDAP, tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, chickenpox, shingles, pneumonia, influenza, COVID-19. Some jungle regions may require additional anti-malarials. This list might seem crazy, but many countries cover several of these series as a regular part of childhood, such as MMR, TDAP, and polio. Being informed and aware is your best protection. Wear clothes that cover your skin for bug protection. In addition to safety measures you can take before you even leave, such as vaccinations, there are things you need to do to prevent illness while in Peru. Mosquitoes are a real risk and can carry malaria, Zika virus, and dengue. We always recommend wearing clothing that covers your skin to provide the most protection against disease-carrying mosquitoes. Get the locals talking. Peruvians are typically an amiable group. Their definition of personal space may be different than yours, so don't be surprised or offended if you notice how close people stand when chatting. You'll likely get an enthusiastic response if you start talking about the local football, soccer for Americans, team. And don't be surprised if you are asked deeply personal questions about money, religion, relationships, or more. Personal questions are taboo in some countries like England. Knowledge is power and will help you set your expectations for social interactions. Not to put a damper on things, but there are always things that you should avoid when traveling, and Peru is no exception. Here are a few things to keep in mind when planning your vacation. 
don't drink the tap water. Water access for Peruvians has improved in recent years, but like many developing countries, the Peruvian infrastructure can't fully support portable water for its inhabitants. Tap water is dangerous to drink, but filtering or boiling tap water will make it safe to drink. There are plenty of bottled water options throughout Peru, so acquiring safe water isn't challenging, but it requires a bit of planning. Don't forget the sunscreen. High altitude locations in the Andes carry more dangers than altitude sickness. Even in the winter or when it feels cold, sunscreen is a must. At elevations over 10,000 feet, you're much closer to the sun, and your skin is exposed to much harsher rays. Protect your skin with sunscreen and reapply regularly based on the package directions. Don't accept the first price that's quoted. This tip is particularly true for handcrafted goods. Don't expect to successfully haggle over the cost of bottled water or a bag of chips. Sometimes a shop owner will offer a discount without even asking. This is an excellent sign that you can negotiate the pricing even further. Don't forget to pack toilet paper. Toilet paper is a must when traveling throughout Peru, particularly when hiking. It's never guaranteed that an establishment, even restaurants, will stock toilet paper. One of the reasons for this is that toilet paper and other sanitary products can't be flushed. The sewer and septic system can't handle it. So, used toilet paper must always be thrown away. With that in mind, carrying a large zip-top bag to pack out waste when you're in more remote locations is the responsible thing to do. You can also try covering the outside of the bag in duct tape, so it isn't as unsightly. Don't assume public transportation is safe. Petty theft on overnight city buses, etc. Buses are the main form of transportation in Peru. They're widely available, used heavily by locals, and are the most inexpensive options for moving between cities. Buses are often safe and reliable, but make sure to research the reviews or track records of private bus companies to see if you have any habitual crimes. Petty theft is most likely to happen on crowded overnight buses with lots of luggage to choose from. Keep your personal belongings close, and if traveling in a group, try taking turns sleeping so there's always someone aware of the surroundings. Don't forget about Uber or Cabify. Lima, the capital city of Peru, has a bit more infrastructure than some of the more remote locations in Peru. Uber, Cabify, and Easy Taxi are app-based ride-hailing platforms that can make travel hassle-free. Significantly, it also reduces the chance of getting ripped off since you'll have an estimate for the ride fare before you're even picked up. Don't expect punctuality. While in a business setting, Peruvians respect timeliness and do a great job adhering to set timetables. This trait doesn't often spill over into social settings. Fashionably late may not even begin to cover it. If you're planning on meeting up with someone, it's best to specify exactly what time they expect to meet. It's entirely possible that you invite a group over for dinner at 5 p.m. and you end up waiting an hour or more for your guests to arrive. You'll have to establish a strict hora inglesa, English hour, if you hope to start your social event on time. Don't take photographs without permission. Vibrant colors abound in Peru between clothing and festivals, and it's not uncommon to see local artisans working diligently on their craft. It's an irresistible photo opportunity, but it's always best to ask permission before snapping away. Many locals have come to expect this, and some may even have a price to allow photography. It's a way for some to supplement their income, so providing a small tip when someone allows you to take their picture is a great way to show your thanks and compensate them for interrupting their day. Remember, your photo subjects are just trying to get through their day like you would be at home. That concludes our list for today. Are there any critical travel tips that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. What's your favorite hidden gem to visit when visiting Peru? Please share with us in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave us with a like. Consider subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications so you don't miss our next travel video. We might cover somewhere you're planning to visit soon. Until next time.